hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to get conversation entries for a voice call record in Salesforce uh, in a voice call record there will be a conversation pane where we can find what conversation happened between the agent and the end user but <clears throat> if you have a requirement where you want to pull those information and do some kind of uh, uh, integration with a third party application or any for or for any other purpose you you have to pull the data from uh, conversation entry object uh, so we are going to see how to use uh, a SOQL to get that and also connect API to get those information and we are also going to see why we are going to use uh, SOQL and as well as for um, connect API wh uh, what difference it is going to make also we are going to see uh, first let's see how to use SOQL to get that so conversation entry is an entity where the conversation that happened between Salesforce agent and the end user in the phone happened this ent this entity is also used for other uh, channels um, <coughs> uh, so for uh, fetching the conversation entries for a voice call record we have to use conversation ID in the filter how we can get the conversation ID is there is an um, uh, field called conversation ID on the voice call object in, from the voice call object you can pass the ID and then get the conversation ID once you get the conversation ID you can pass that conversation ID in the conversation entry conversation uh, is the parent and the conversation entry is the child records so you can pass the parent ID so that you can get all the conversation entries I will share my blog post which has this query and also have some screenshots for your reference you can find those information in the blog in the video description so this is one way to get it uh, the disadvantage of this uh, SOQL is uh, the messages are not currently populated so this column is not populated but uh, this is very crucial for uh, multiple purposes so based on the conversation only we will be able to find out uh, what conversation occurred between the agent and the uh, end user so let's see how to get the message using connect api so the bit the difference between soql and this connect api is using connect api you can get the message that was transferred or conversed between the agent and the uh, end user uh, so first we have to create a connected app in salesforce because we are going to use Salesforce REST Connect API so go to App Manager in Setup and you can create a new connected app but I already created a connected app with the name Postman so I created a connected app with postman I enabled uh, uh, OAuth and then I have used Salesforce callback URL uh, all the screenshots and everything will be there in my blog pro blog post and link to my blog post will be available in the video description so this is the connected app I created so using that I got the consumer key and consumer secret and uh, in my postman I have a test script where it will uh, get this access token and pass it here in this variable so first we have to get the access token from Salesforce and the next step is using a get method to connect conversation and this is nothing but vendor call key uh, for each and every voice call record there will be there will be a field called vendor call key using that you can get the conversation that occurred so here if you look I can easily see that uh, like distinct 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 this was the message that was uh, talked by the end user um, 
you can see OK it was talked by the agent like that you can see all the conversation that exactly happened yeah so this is the exact conversation that happened okay desk distinct yeah just so all those information will be there in the message context yeah just distinct 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 so using this connect api uh, call you can definitely fetch all the conversation that occurred between an agent and the end user uh, for this endpoint and other information i will definitely share my blog link in the video description i hope it was helpful thank you for watching